Today we're going to talk about five ways to create warm and natural focal points using accent walls, also known as feature walls. So if that sounds interesting, this video is for you. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. I received a great question from one of the members of our community about adding a feature wall and whether they're still in style. I would say yes, as long as they serve a purpose. In commercial projects, I use accent walls a lot, one in almost every main space. This is integral to the client's branding and also helps draw attention to design features. Residential spaces have different needs, but every room still needs a focal point, something that draws you into the space. Some spaces have natural focal points like fireplaces or a beautiful view, and some spaces are more generic and need a little help. That's not to say that we should be afraid of white space, but adding some visual interest in the form of color, pattern, or texture not only helps us know where to focus, but it enhances the beauty of the space and emphasizes the design style. To determine which wall should be the focus, think about the following. If there's an architectural detail like a fireplace or recessed area, that would most likely be where you would want to create focus. In the absence of some type of architectural cue, it could be the wall in your natural line of sight as you enter a space. For living spaces, it could be the wall that will hold your TV. In the dining room, it might be the longest continuous blank wall. And in the bedroom, it would most likely be the wall that the bed is on. Regardless of the location, pick symmetrical walls that are rectangular or square, and preferably without doors, windows, or built-ins. Now, with location in mind, let's jump into five ways to add an interesting focal point to those spaces. Option one is paint and art. This option is by far the least commitment, least expensive, and easiest to do. If you're going to use paint, pull your color palette together ahead of time, including artwork. A good way to use this strategy is to select the artwork and use it as a color inspiration for the space, selecting your main wall color and the accent in a deeper tone from the piece. The more contrast between your main and accent color, the more dramatic the effect. If you want to keep it subtle, pick closely related colors that harmonize with each other. I like to use flat or matte paint to minimize the look of texture and imperfections in the wall finish. Option two is wallpaper or some type of graphic wall covering. Wall coverings of all kinds have made a big comeback in recent years, and it's a great choice for adding personality to a space. Design options range from traditional to bold and graphic to calm and serene. This type of wall treatment was once a big commitment, but there are many beautiful and removable peel and stick options on the market so you can change it up easily. This is great for renters because you can customize your space while you're there and leave no trace when you move. However, do consider the texture of your walls. If they're smooth, you're good to go with any option, but if they're textured, consider a thicker vinyl wall covering with a fairly matte graphic print to minimize the texture. This peel and stick option from Pictorum has a canvas texture, giving it a matte finish, while the graphic camouflages light texture and small imperfections. Option three is natural textiles. Closely related to wallpaper and vinyl wall coverings are natural textile wall coverings. With these, you can bring in nature in the form of natural fibers like grass cloth, jute, paper weave, sisal, and string. These can be hung the old fashioned way with glue, but they also come in peel and stick. Because these options are thicker and more textured, you don't need to be as concerned with wall texture as long as it's not very heavy. Our next option is wood. Wood adds warmth and texture to a space, and there's an option to fit any style. There are a wide array of choices, from traditional wainscoting to the more casual board and batten and shiplap. Rustic reclaimed wood and modern and minimal zen-like wood slats or open geometric patterns. Depending on the installation, it's a bit more of a commitment than paint or wall covering, but there are also peel and stick products for the wood too. If the wood will cover the wall entirely, there's no need to worry about texture and imperfections, but do consider these if you're creating an open wood strip design that will be painted and go for the flat or matte options. Our fifth option is natural stone. Natural stone can really make a statement and gives a space a natural and elevated look. It's definitely more of a commitment and more costly, but the results can be stunning. Since this is a more permanent solution, it's best to look for neutral options in simple yet elegant patterns that will stand the test of time and combine with most styles, like a linear white stacked stone. 
This design offers texture and some subtle variations of color in the stone, which gives you a lot of flexibility when integrating it into your design. For more interior design tips, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of feature walls. Have you tried them before? How did they work out for you? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you again soon.